morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all for coming, and thank you, Ms. Nelson, for inviting me uh, to come speak with y'all today. Uh, it's truly an honor for me to be back in my former school. Uh, before I talk about my training experience, I would like to briefly introduce myself. Uh, currently, I'm a senior at St. Joe's High School, like uh, Ms. Nelson said, uh, but before St. Joe, all I ever knew was Trinity. Having attended the school from kindergarten all the way until my graduation from eighth grade in 2016, I forged many relationships and memories during my time here. And what I find most remarkable is how strong these bonds have stayed to this very day. For instance, a few days back, I happened to be in the area and I decided to stop by and meet with a few of my past teachers. From the moment I began speaking with them, it blew my mind how fast four years of high school flew by. I felt like I was just here yesterday sitting in this Edwards art class. I remembered every detail of her classroom, where I sat, where my friends sat, where her desk used to be, and so on. I even remember the time my friends and I crafted a pretend cannon out of clay, and we swore it could launch cannonballs all the way across the classroom. <laughs> she still doesn't believe this. <laughs> As I was preparing for my remarks today, it was almost like a trip down memory lane for me. So many friendships, memories, and experiences that are fundamental to who I am today were formed here. My goal today is to share a little bit about the skills Trinity taught me that served as a foundation as I went on to high school. There are so many things that I can mention, but I think that there are three things in particular that stick out as I look back. First are the study skills that I learned here. Early on when I was in elementary school, teachers emphasized organization, time management, and planning ahead. As students, we were given planners in which we were supposed to write out our homework each day and any upcoming assignments. In the next in the first few weeks of school at St. Joe, many of my peers were struggling to remember their assignments and when things were due, but not me. <clears throat> I was so used to having a planner since third grade that I instinctively bought one as part of my school supplies. <laughs> and I continue to use them to this day. These academic habits that were instilled in elementary school uh, greatly helped my classmates and I to be successful when we entered middle school. Our teachers had given us the tools to be successful when our classes got more difficult and this is the reason that I'm not worried when I have to decide between taking a regular class or an advanced class at high school. I know that I'm ready for the challenge. The second blessing I received at Trinity was the room to explore. In fifth grade, I decided to take up a challenge from my friends and play on the basketball team. Oh, I remember those days when I was a foot taller than everyone. Now in high school, it seems like everyone's caught up to me. Something I began in fifth grade for fun turned into a passion that I've developed ever since. After graduating from Trinity, I continued to play in high school. My eighth grade year, however, I knew I was going to play basketball, but what I did not know was whether I was going to play track, run track. After giving it some thought, I decided to sign up. Convinced that I was for sure a 200 meter sprinter, I was not happy when coach told me to run the 400 meter as well. <laughs> but coach saw what I couldn't at the time. In our first track meet, I got third in the 200 meter, not too bad, but I placed first in the 400 meter somehow. I absolutely despise running any distance longer than 200 meters, <laughs> but coach knew what I was capable of and she pushed me to better myself. My experience in track is just a sample of how the teachers and coaches here not only taught me how to be successful academically, but they also taught me life lessons I can use forever. Lastly, and what I think is the most rewarding aspect of having gone to Trinity, are the friendships I've made here. Because of the small school, tight-knit environment, the friends I made during the 11 years I was here did not disappear when I went on to high school. Although I was exposed to many new people at St. Joe, I never felt too distant from my attorney friends. In fact, my best friends are still the people that I went to Trinity with. I think the biggest reason why this is particularly true about Trinity is because of the outdoor education program. From fourth grade to eighth grade, my whole class went on a multi-day trip somewhere in Texas. We did everything from camping in Rockport to climbing in Chandler Rock, swimming in hot springs, to zip lining across a forest, to climbing a 100 foot pole at Moe Ranch, and so much more. This is one of the greatest things that I believe separates Trinity from the rest. The ability to grow friendships and have fun with one another outside of the classroom made us more successful when we came back. We truly felt closer. My best memories of Trinity are the little things that happened in outdoor ed, like when I almost set our campsite on fire, or when I freaked out because my friend planted a giant spider in my shoe. <laughs> If it were not for these experiences and life lessons, life lessons, then I truly believe that I would not be nearly as successful as I am today in my high school endeavors. Trinity shaped me into who I am today, and for that, I am truly grateful.